Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for this quick demo today. I'm Rachel Paglia with Covenant Technology Partners and we're gonna teach you how to add a loading spinner to your Power App. So first thing is you need to find a spinner. So there's a couple of websites you could use. The one we used here for this example is loading.io. They have some free ones, they have some paid ones. You find one that you like and you have the ability to customize some colors for example, and then you're going to download it as a .gif file. Once you have it downloaded, you are going to go to Power Apps, open up the app that you would like to add it to. So for this example, I have a uh, PTO request application that we're going to add it to when there's a new request. Um, so on my on start app function under the app on start i'm going to set a variable i'm going to call it bar spinner and i'm just going to set it to false okay um, and then i'm going to import my gif file as media so this one's called double ring you can see it's a gif file all right, now I got it in there. And then on my submit button, I'm going to have bar spinner. I'm gonna set it to true so that it shows while all of these steps that are below, as you can see here, I got a set, I got a patch function. All of this stuff is going to run and then while it's running, my spinner is gonna display. So at the end of it, I'm going to set that variable again and I'm gonna set it back to false. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to add my spinner. Um, there's a number of ways you can do this. Uh, you can have like a rectangle behind it when you're creating or modifying it in whatever software you're using. So for example, in loading IO, we can change the size of this. You can see it's a little pixelated. Um, but for right now, we'll just keep it quick and simple. So we're adding our spinner and we're going to go to the visibility function. And then we're going to have it set if our spinner equals true true else false okay let's give it a test we're going to submit an item Boop. so you can see as all of that functions happened on my submit button it had the loading spinner and that's quickly how you add one thanks